Jeff? Bill. Yes. I got a big problem. Okay, nine months ago, I booked a scuba diving trip to Vladivostok, Russia, and North Korea. I didn't know they do scuba diving in North Korea. Well, I didn't either. It was supposed to be the first trip of its kind. Okay. And it's booked through a um, Chinese tour company. They said, oh, taking an American is no problem. North Korea is the safest place. Don't don't listen to all the United States propaganda. You know, come and, and see the real North Korea. Okay, so I paid. I booked my flight. I booked hotels. I was really interested in going to this um, this location. Well, uh, last Tuesday, they emailed me saying, I'm sorry, but effective immediately, we have decided we're not taking any American visitors, but we're, we're going to be glad to refund all of your money. Okay. Okay, well, that's the money that I sent them for the trip. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay. Well, it cost me $100 to cancel my airline. I paid $400 for the Russian visa and the letter of invitation, which I no longer need. Mm -hmm. um, it cost me $60 to... No, I get it. You have a bunch of uh, expenses. All right. Yeah, so yeah, what, your exactly. question, and your are outside of... Uh, the money that it's they're refunding seven, it. It's going to cost me seven hundred and eighty dollars extra to go. All right. How do I get that money back? How do I sue in, a ch in chi a Chinese company? It's a Chinese tour company. Yeah, good. And they're based out of the, and they have some office in the United States. No, they don't. Well, I would suggest here's what you can do. This works. Okay. Is uh, I, I'm assuming they have some method of, uh, of of small claims. I'm sure they have. Uh, so I would file their equivalent to the small claims court. You fly to China because it has to be heard there. Don't forget the hotel rooms and the food in China, and you're going to lose. So uh, you'll. Why be would I lose? Because it's China. Well, I would have to hire a translator too, though. Oh right? yeah, yeah, that one too. And it could be that you have to hire a lawyer uh, in order to deal with the Chinese legal system. So uh, I would go for it. I, I would absolutely go for it. I think it would cost you. I'm but, guessing five, six, twelve thousand dollars. But okay, now if I sue them for discrimination based on national origin, they don't even know. They don't even have discrimination over there. They didn't cancel the. Tour. I know. I understand. No, they're, they're they liable. I get the it. Tour. They canceled me because I'm an American. Okay, That's it is. It is. You're right. It's totally discrimination. Now what? You think they have a constitution where they recognize racial discrimination over there? Uh, I can't read Chinese. I don't. Ah, oh, know. that's right. You need a translator to figure that out. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, and, th and not only do you need a translator, you're going to need a translator to help you with a Chinese lawyer who's going to tell you that there is no such thing as discrimination issues in China when it comes to an American. Yeah, that all works. Hope you go for it. Uh, as a matter of fact, call me and tell me how that went. When you do that, <sighs> this is great. Yeah, it's just it's great. You know, thank you for that. You know, and, you know, every once in a while I get a call that I enjoy so much. This is Handle on the Law. <laughs>